This company retreat is all about getting us back to number one. Number one! So, does anyone have any suggestions? Um, I think we need more honesty between co-workers. Honesty? Uh, okay, I'll start. I don't know what grapes are. Who's next? Go quick, I'm feeling very vulnerable. Listen, Haley, my wife and I haven't been intimate for a long time. There are reasons why I can't leave her, but it is a marriage in name only. I really like you, and I think if you got to know me, you'd like me too. I'm sorry, Axe. You're married. I, ca I can't do it. Just do it! That's the mantra of our next speaker, Nike chairman, Mr. Phil Knight. Just do it, Haley! And others. Hey, you're not Phil Knight. That's right. I'm gonna need a new check made out to Arbuckle T. Boone, life coach to the stars. I'm the man who keeps the cast of Melissa and Joey from killing themselves weekly. Now let's pair up. Ugh, what are you doing? I got you the job. Now I'm getting you the man. You and you, you're a team. And you owe me $80,000. I'll take that in hams. I'm gonna start a ham business. Unless you've already written the check. Check's probably better than hams. You know what, I'll take either one. Money, hams, whatever you got on you. <laughs> so, this is me. And, uh, well, I'm right next door. Yeah, our, our doors are, are really close together. It's almost like they're kissing. Hope they don't run off in the night together and someone comes and murders us. Yeah. <laughs> right? I guess we should say goodnight. Yeah, I, I think we probably should. Well, goodnight then. What? Sorry, you say something? Oh, no, sorry, I, I thought you... Oh, no, no, I... Okay. Don't freak out. Ah! Okay, I told you explicitly not to freak out. And speaking of not listening to me, why are you not next door? Grind on the axe. <laughs> I just thought of that. Sometimes they just come to me. I call them little gifts from the universe. She's not with him because she knows it's wrong. I'm beginning to think, and I'm loath to say this because I don't want people to say Klaus is a hater. I get enough of that crap as it is. But I'm beginning to think Arbuckle T. Boone is not a good life coach. Hater! <gasps> You know, so what if he's married? I'm married, but Jeff's up in space. I deserve to have someone I like on Earth. It most certainly is not fun. I know, because I've been on the other side. You see, I was once cheated on. Elsa was my first love. We met at university. You mean you met in college? You're in the States now, say it the right way. <sighs> so Elsa and I met <laughs> at university. Oh, I hate it! We were in love, she and I. And she supported me through years of constant ski jump training. I was devastated. So that's why you can't be with a married man. Roger, what are you doing? Calling my four-year-old nephew to tell him he's no longer the worst storyteller I know. Haley, do you like this guy? Yeah. But So he's married. That's not your problem. That's his life coach's problem. All I'm saying is, where did not sleeping with married men get you? Running from drug dealers. So go next door and get yours, which is someone else's. <gasps> You're amazing. I know this is crazy, but it just feels so right. Let's get you out of those wet clothes. What? Ah! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell's that? Oh, the tattoo. Yeah, that's my wife. Don't worry, the way I have sex, you won't be seeing her much. That's your wife? That's who you're married to? Yes, that's Rosalyn. Of course, that's her in her prime before the accident. So you, you live with your wife? Like, all the time? Yeah, I mean, much of the time she's out of town for her experimental treatments. There it is. Question, so, but before the accident, this, uh, worked for you? Yeah, I mean, 
Clearly, I have a type. You're the wife? Oh, you saw the tattoo. But that means you got him naked. Huh. You know, I'm surprised you're a have sex with the lights on person. Well, I don't care how disgusting it was as long as there was 100% insertion. It didn't happen. Roger, what the hell is going on? Okay, how far back do you want me to go? To when I pretended to be a life coach to get you a job so you could meet Axe? Or all the way back to when I married Axe for his money but had to sign a prenup that would only be voided if he cheated on me? Oh, look, I told both stories. See, Klaus, that's how you tell a story. Oh, I can't believe you, Roger. This was never about me getting my life back on track. Oh, it's always about you. What about Rosalind's life? Can't she win one for a change? Wait, who's Rosalind? Rosalind, Rosalind. Oh, uh, yes, right. I was at your wedding. Oh, I owe you guys a present. Yeah. <laughs>